Hey guys, and welcome back to this house building video. We are now working on the kitchen um, on the main floor of the house. And um, this kitchen is a little unique because it has half full walls and half half walls. And um, it's kind of at an angle on this end, so it's going to be really cool looking. So, um, first, we are going to choose, um, first we are going to put it full screen, because I hate smaller screens. Alright, first we're going to choose a, um, a flooring, and I normally do, uh, like stone or wood or tile or masonry or linoleum, I never do carpeting, um, but I'm not sure what I want the kitchen to look like yet, which is kind of a problem. Um, I think I want it to kind of stay with the yellow, I want it to kind of stay yellow so that um, these rooms won't look really weird because we're going to be adding that, but it can also be a pink too, so I might actually make the kitchen pink just because I've never done a pink kitchen, and it would be something to really look into. Um, the hard part is always finding the right tiling or whatever you're using for the flooring that matches the, the walling. I always have like the hardest issue with that because a kitchen is really hard, especially because if you don't have the... If you don't have the, um, the flooring to match the walling, then it has to match the counters, and it's just, like, a lot of, like, extra, like, things that have to uh, match instead of just the normal, like, um, what do you call it? Um, just, like, the normal, like, flooring and walls matching. So that's something that you always want to look for look into like when you choose a flooring or if you choose a um or if you choose something else like you need when you choose like the wall or paper first or whatever always remember to think about what is going to match with that later on because it really makes a big difference just trying to choose a light that would look well in the kitchen, but I'm really not seeing any that I like. I just think this looks so weird. Why does it look so weird? Um, so... I think we may go with this light. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change the color later on when we know what color the kitchen is actually going to be. But I need lighting in here to be able to see the flooring. So, I was thinking when I was in here before, I found one that I kind of thought might work, but I wasn't sure what it looked like. I actually really like that. I've never used it in a kitchen before. I don't even know if I've ever actually really used it before. But I do like it. It looks really nice and it matches the carpet in the hallway, which is good because you want it to kind of match because they're going to be kind of open with each other. So it needs to kind of match a bit. Especially because there's only a doorway. There's not like a, um, there's not like a door or anything to come into the kitchen because that would just be weird in my mind. Like I wouldn't do that. But let's see, what color wallpapering should we use? Hmm. I actually think this might be nice. I don't know where that went. Okay. Alright, now I just gotta do this, the half wall. Alright, so we got that now, and obviously it's going to be like a maroon 
um, kitchen, but the wood can be the, a brown, which is a good because it will match, we can match to like the border or whatever, or we can even just keep it matching with this wood out here, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, so now we want to choose a counter that's going to look nice. And I really like this counter, to be honest with you. I think it's one of my favorite counters that we have so far. And, um, yeah, I just think it looks really, really nice. So we're going to place it, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to match it to this wood out here because it just seems like something we should do. And, um, I'm not going to pull the whole thing over because I don't want the top of the counter to match. I think I want the top of the counter to be a red or a light pink. I'm not quite sure yet what I want it to match. So we are going to see. Let's see. Let's see. I think we want it down here. Yeah. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, choose to fix this up and not worry about dragging the wood because we can just drag it on the same. But the top can stay the same pattern. I just want to change the color a bit. So let's see. There's red. Kind of too bright, I think. Let's see. Because that, let's see if we can drag this color onto the counter and use it as the countertop color. But I think it gets rid of the pattern, which is kind of what I didn't want. Alright, so, let's see, maybe we can, alright, let's try and save that color, and then we're going to try and use it on this, we want to go to miscellaneous. Come on. I hate that the miscellaneous doesn't work very well. I don't know why. It just... It never wants to work. And it's so annoying. Alright, well... I think we're going to do it like that. I think that's going to be the color. And... We're just going to place counters around. Um, there should be three counters here. And then there will be a, the stove. And then there will be two more counters. Like that. Then over on this wall over here, there will be two counters and then the refrigerator. Then over here, there are counters, and they go all the way around, which we're going to have to use move objects on to get them into the certain places that you obviously can't put them unless you do have move objects on. Okay, and now... We need three at this, like this, and what we're going to do is we're just going to place them, but we're going to hold Alt and move it into place how we want it. So we obviously want it like this. And I want the center one to not have too much into it because that one's going to have a sink on it, which is going to be looking pretty cool. Alright, so I think we're going to do it like that. Um, I know it kind of overlaps a bit on this end, but that's okay because we kind of want the center one for the, count the sink, like I said. 
So now let's just place in the sink that we want, and I always use that sink. I always use that. And I'm going to turn move objects off now. Alright, so the sink is placed, and um, now we need to do the refrigerator and stove, which, um, this is the tricky part, because you have to find something that's going to kind of match, and um, that's where it comes to be very hard. So, I'm looking at this fridge, and I don't know. We might just go with this, and we'll try and get the same kind of texture going with the fridge as it is over here. Um, let me pull this on here and see what I can do with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do with it. That's the problem. Um, Alright, I have an idea. We're going to do magenta on the fridge where the black lays, and we're going to change the center into a white instead. No, we're going to change the center into a black. Yeah. Well, that kind of looks funny. Maybe we can change the sink to a white, because I think a white would look better. Alright. So let's change the sink into a white now. I think it'll look Actually, I think we should undo the last one. Alright. Yeah. And then over here we need to do the, the uh, stove, which I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to drag the pattern from here over to here, because it'll make it look nice. And it looks like that, and it looks actually really cool looking. And as you can see, it's still very dark in here because these lights aren't the best. But, um, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. There isn't, like, a center island or anything, even knowing that we could probably place one if we wanted. But, I mean, um, this family is not very small, so a lot of people in the kitchen at once, it would be very crowded if I put a counter in there. So I'm not going to do that. Um, the only other things I'm going to add are in some small appliances, um, which we still need to match to the same colors as the larger appliances to make it look representable and the way it should. So, um, we've got it, the at-home barista, barista in the corner. And, um, we need to add in a microwave, because who doesn't have a microwave in their house? If you don't have a microwave, then you're probably living, like, in the olden times or something really weird. I wouldn't know why you wouldn't have one. Um, and then we just need a blender, which we'll place there. And that will be the last thing that we will pull the design off of, because... That will be the last appliance that we'll add. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Um, it's very dark, so I may try and add a few more of these, whoops, a few more of these lights. If I can even grab the light. Um, as you see, when you put it closer to the counter, it lights up better, so that's a good thing. Um, we're just going to pull a couple more of them in here to light it up a bit better. And yeah, so there's four ki kitchen lights now, and the kitchen is pretty much done. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add painting still, and I'm going to add a center rug. I think a center rug will make it look, will accent the room itself. So let's see, what kind of rug should we use? Circular, I'm thinking, but not that color. Let's see, what kind of circular rugs do we have? Um, I actually think this will look nice because it'll match the hallway. And it's just setting in the center of the room. Yeah, it's just setting in the center of the room. It's not like, um, 
it's not like off, but it kind of looks off, but it's not. Um, and I may add a plant. I was thinking of trying to see if a plant would look nice in the center of this room. But I think it kind of just looks off because you don't normally just have like a plant setting in the center of your kitchen. But um, I'm not really sure yet what I think. Because that looks weird, but this one kind of looks nice. So maybe we'll leave it just because it's different and I'm different. When I build houses, I like to be very different. Um, now we're going to add in wall decorations. And I don't know why there's not a window in this kitchen because there really should be. But there just isn't. So it kind of stinks because it doesn't give it much light. But it gives you much more room to place um, photographs and things like that. To be honest, I can't even remember the last one of these photographs that we used. The one of her lying down. Alright, so we're on this one now. And I want to move it up a bit. And I know it may look weird in the kitchen, but that's okay. Um, another picture, because we'll only put one of them in here. Um, we'll place another picture here and a picture here. So let's see, let's place this picture, because I think it's nice. And we'll place this picture as well. Okay, not in the corner though, that's not where I meant. Yeah, right there. Alright, and then we're going to place one more picture on this wall. And we can place... Um, sure. I already think we placed that, actually. We'll place... The toad. The toad looks good. Um, and on this counter, there are some stuff... There, there are some. There is some stuff for decor in your um, miscellaneous, if you didn't know it, for a kitchen. Um, there's not a lot, and it doesn't really give much to the room. But, like, there's this that you can add, which is, like, spatulas and things like that, and a towel, paper towel rack and a nice set. trying to figure out where it should go. Okay, we're going to put it there. And, um, hmm, what else is in here? I know there's a few more things. Um, there is this, which, um, when you put the smaller one by itself, you don't really need that too, in my mind. Like, you don't need them both. And I like the smaller one better. Um, there is this that you can place, which takes up a, a whole counter itself. Um, and I can place this on the sink just because, if I can get it to sit now, here we go, we're going to play with the soap again. Um, I always try and place that just because it makes it look more realistic in the long run. If, you know, you want to take photos of your house or photos of your Sims in your house and makes just the photo look better. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for um, decorations for the kitchen. I don't really... Oh, we got... We, you can do these if you want. They're um, chilies. You can add them to your kitchen too. Um, I'll add them in right there next to the stove um but that's pretty much it and then you want to get obviously a um smoke detector which is right here and normally I add in a nice clock which um we'll add in the teapot clock above the sink just to give it a little accent 
So guys, that's the kitchen, and um, next we'll be working on dining room and um, a breakfast nook and things like that. Oh no, not dining room, um, leisure room I mean. So I will talk to you guys in the next episode of Building This House, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!